Welcome to my second RPG Maker XP tutorial. In this tutorial, we're just going to go over some basic, uh, basic quests uh, to show you some different events and how to work with them. So, the first thing we, we'll need to do is, in this quest, we're going to have this NPC here that we made in the earlier uh, ask us to go get an item out of a chest for her and bring it back to her. So, first thing we'll need to do is double click on her, on your event. We're just going to delete this welcome to my tutorial text. And then we'll just do another show text, which we'll just put in I have left an item in a chest to the south and I need it to cure my brother will you please get it for me so in this in this uh oh one second I need to put a question mark not a period all right so when she's at when you you have an NPC asking f a question you'll need to answer it so to put in answers to a question you'll need to do a new event here go to show choices and you can put in up to four choices they could be different things but we're just going to do a general yes or no answer and over here when cancel just means it'll exit out the event processing whenever you choose whichever choice choice one choice two choice three choice cho choice four usually when cancel goes with a no answer or something like that so choice two is no so we're going to put make sure it's on choice two and click ok now when this shows up it says when yes here and when no here all this is is basically when you choose yes you'll do this and when you choose no you'll do this so under choose yes we're going to have her say thank you so much here is the key to open the chest click OK now to give a give your character an item you'll need to double click on an event do change items choose your item we're going to do an elixir operation we're going or sorry not elixir we need key chest key then we need to increase how many that's in our inventory so we'll do increase and we'll just give the character one so click OK and when no we'll put thanks anyway that way if you choose no she'll say thanks anyway and it'll close out <clears throat> now if we run the program right now each time we would come up to her, we we would go through this, and each time we would choose yes, we'd get a chess key. So what we'll need to do here is make a new event page, and here we're going to learn about switching. But I'll show you that here in a second. So under the list of event commands to keep her from giving you a key each time, do a show text and say, "Please hurry." That way, after you get the key she'll say please hurry each time you return to her and won't get an extra t key so we'll do a self switch on this one choose A, B, C, or D for this one we'll choose A since it's the only uh, switch we have right now go back to your first page number one tab and under change items we'll want to put in a control self switch choose which switch it is an operation you want it on that way it'll it'll 
do the events in that page each time you'll go to it while it's while it's on. So click OK. Switching is basically whenever you want to go to a different it do a different set of events for the same event itself. So here we'll click apply and click OK. Now we'll need to put in a chest. So we'll put a chest down here in the bottom left hand corner. And to do this, we'll just double click for the event, go under your graphics, go down, we'll want it facing upwards, so we'll choose a chest 4, and we'll choose, actually we'll, we'll have it facing right, so you can actually see the opening of the chest, so we'll choose chest 03, and I'm going to use the red one, and in here we'll do a conditional branch which is basically if you have a certain item or whatever certain gold weapon armor we're going to go to page four here so you got switch actor enemy character we're going to do item 